Hello there, I am Giant Grill with more Earthbound. In the last part, we got here, we saved Paula basically from the uh, mountain shed in the uh, peaceful Vest Valley. And um, as you can see, I think I may have mentioned this in the last part, but in case I didn't, well actually, I may have or may have not, she's only level 1 right now, and all our stats are 2. So that's basically, again, you know, when we are level 1, we have 30 HP and 10 PP. So yeah, we're gonna have to raise her up, but first what I want to do is, uh, actually, I want to... How much money do I have? Two dollars, okay. I'm gonna have to withdraw some money here, because I actually want to equip her with some, um, you know, items and stuff, so, like, it'll help her raise her stats and all that. So let's try that. Let's just, um, take out, like, um, six hundred dollars, you know? I'm probably gonna use all of it, but... Who knows? I might have to use all of it. I don't think I will have to. So let's talk to this guy. Hello there, may I help you buy? Okay. Get you anything? Um... The frying pan, yeah. The fry pan, I guess, because there's a limitation in SNES. Um, coding or whatever when they were developing this game. Um, who will carry this? Paula will. Is there anything? Yes, okay. Offensive went from 2 to 12. Wow, okay. Anything else? What would you like to do? Buy. I want to also give her the, um, ribbon. So, yeah. Who will carry this? Paula, of course. Her, def her defense went from 2 to 22. Nice. Um, anything else? Yes. Buy. I want to buy one more thing. I'll buy the copper bracelet. Don't buy the home set because it's not really worth it. Copper bracelet, okay. I just want to carry this. Uh, of course, Paula. Are you going to equip it here? Yes, okay, cool. Defense went from 22 to 32. Nice. Is anything else? Nope. Okay. And let me check this thing out again. Deposit. We want to deposit like $104. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Okay. So now if you look at Paula's stats, they're a little bit better. At least the offense and defense are. But if it's the speed, guts, vitality, IQ, and luck is too still. That's okay. So dang it, I didn't want to do that. Okay. Let's go. Should we still have our teddy bear? Now we could go back to Tucson and, you know, do all stuff we need there because, you know, Paula's family's weird sick about her. But, uh, I actually want to go on to the next, um, sanctuary area. And um, hopefully we got to take on the next boss, the next part. But hopefully we get to the sanctuary area in this part. Um, Paul levels up pretty quickly. She's only level 1, so of course she's gonna guarantee level up with this enemy right here, pretty much. Smash and bash, I guess. 68. Okay, yeah. Paul attack. Smash! She gets 20. Smash smashes 20 HP right there. That's pretty cool. It's good for a smash attack. Smash! You gotta make sure she doesn't, you know, die though. That'd be good. Yes, and Paula gained 228 experience each. Paula is now level 2. Maximum HP went up by 2. Paula's level is now 3. Uh, Paula's level is now 3. Offense went up by 2. Guts went up by 1. IQ went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. By one. Maximum HP went up by 2. Maximum PP went up by 5. PY is the power of PSI Fire. Nice. Alpha. And I remember that B symbol from last part, I think it was the last part, where it nestled in something beta. It's called, It stands for beta, so it's like PSI so and so beta. Paul was now level 4, offense went up by 2, defense went up by 1, oh baby, speed went up by 3, awesome, IQ went up by 1, luck went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 1, maximum PP went up by 5 again, yay, cool. My Paul is now level 5, maximum HP went up by 1, maximum PP went up by th 1. That was a- we, she gained 4 levels in that last battle, jeez. So look at her stats now, they're a lot better. Cause like, everything got raised at least once, Vitality even got raised at least once, one stage. So that's awesome. So, um, I wanna use PSI he healing, or uh, I can use life up, I can use that on, um, wait, does that cost more? Yeah, this one costs 8, let's just use life up on Paula. I don't think I need to use life up beta. Maxed out, awesome, it's at 36 now. Okay, cool, she's just at full health, and she has a lot, 21 PP right now. So this area isn't really too hard as long as you keep, um, Paula, you know, healthy, you know, where she has enough HP, because she can easily, like, um, die in this area. So yeah, and also, just hope that the teddy bear takes a lot of damage when Paula is, because Paula is protected by that, because the enemies attack the bear, then the teddy bear. Yeah, so like, they attack the teddy bear there. Yeah, let's just one more bash, and one more bash should do it. There we go, one more bash from Ness. Awesome, we won. Ness and Paula gained 20, 228 experience each. Paula's now level 6. Offense went by 1. I went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. Vitality went up by 1. Awesome. IQ went up by 1. Maximum HP went up by 9. Maximum PP went up by 4. Paul realized the power of PK, Shield, uh, PSI, sorry, I said PK there, like in the, uh, like in Super Smash Bros. It's PSI, Shield, Alpha. Okay. 
cool. I should I should have known. Like it should have been clear to me that like the A was stand for alpha and the B stands for beta. I don't know why I didn't understand that. That wasn't even really Greek simple. It's like common sense almost. If you really, I don't know. I'm just, I was having trouble back then. I guess. Okay, here's a baddy, Mr. Baddy, and another mole thing. I even forgot the name of, even though it's like two or three of them now. So let's see. This is Mr. Baddy. They're really easy because they can even, they can confuse themselves and attack themselves. They're not they're like a walk in the park, man. They're that easy. And then to mole playing rough. I think this is reference to a joke to role playing game, like the, the genre of video game, I guess. So they made a little joke out of that, I guess. I'm gonna take out the um role playing rough first. Not Mr. Baddy. Oh man, I'm. Strategy's feeling a little strange. Dang it. Okay. Okay, and good, Ness is able, um, Paul was able to move again, cool. Let's talk the role playing, mole playing rough or whatever it's called. I think I said that right. Mole playing rough. Just missed, of course. Oh man, teddy bear. Okay, the teddy bear's taking heavy damage right now. I want it to last as long as possible, honestly. Not Mr. Batty. Oh my gosh, I made that mistake of clicking too fast again. Thank you. Yay, the wiki became Kim Tame. Yay. I'm gonna say we went back to normal. Oh wait, what did you, why would it say that if it didn't actually do that? I'm confused. Now I'm getting myself confused. The petty, the petty, oh, I'll keep getting my file fluff. Dang it, I wanted that to last longer. Man. Okay, when I went back to normal, as in like, it got... Unconfused or something. That was a that was a harder fight than I thought, but okay. We no longer have the tip. Five hundred there to experience. Nest uh, Nest level to level twenty one. I keep one up by one. Look, we look we went up by one. Max HP went up by three. Max HP went up by three. Pause now level seven. Offense went up by twelve. Two, I mean not twelve. Speed went up by one. IQ went up by one. Max HP went up by three. Max PP went up by five. Nice. We got a level, up, but we stunned both our characters. So I'm gonna use PSI life up on Paula, life up alpha, and you know, cool and her HP maxed out. So we no longer we have the, we no longer have the teddy bear, which kind of stinks. Let's open present. There's a great charm inside. Let's take it. Now, um, Paula cannot equip the great charm, which kind of stinks, because she could have something on her body, I guess. But well, only Ness can equip it for right now. So I'm gonna get rid of the travel charm and replace it the great charm. Cause um it stays at 36 for defense, but then if I do the great charm it raises up at one stat, as you see right there, to 37. So I'm gonna do that. Every stat counts, so I'm gonna take it and use it. No, uh, there's a corner of me, ah. Okay, fine. No, oh, okay, good thing that didn't count as a back attack. Jeez. Okay, Mr. Batty, let's just bash it. I think Ness can bash this in one hit and it'll go back to normal or whatever it became tame, whatever. Yeah, it became tame. Okay, cool. I was right. A small gram, 152 HP each cheese. Uh, it experienced wins. Spawns are now level 8. Offense went up by 2. Defense went up by 1. Speed went up by 2. Oh, baby. Guts went up by 3. Awesome. Luck went up by 2. Maximum HP went up by 2. Maximum PP went up by 1. Paul realized the power of PSI Thunder. Awesome alpha. Which is pretty cool. Let's just avoid that other Mr. Batty. I don't want to face it right now. I don't want to ever face it because I'm just run I'm just walking away from it. I'm not running away from it. I'm just walking away from it. Um. Okay. There's the mighty bear over there, which could one hit KO Paula, which I'm worried about. But here we take out another Mr. Batty. Bash him. Bash. Oh my gosh, you stupid Mr. Batty! Smash. Yeah, oh, that, that was enough to faint it, or faint it like in Pokemon. That was enough to, um, make it tame or something. There we go, thank you. Okay, just to be safe, I'm gonna use another PSI life up on Paula. Cool, she's at 50 HP now. Oh, here's a present. Um, open the present, there was a croissant inside. Let's take it, okay, cool. So that'll be useful in um, healing, I guess. I guess I could use the croissant next time uh, Paula gets hurt. I had two chickens still, cool. Oh my gosh. These stupid mole playing rough or whatever. Yeah, just just leave me alone. Just leave us all alone. Come on, we got this. Oh, I missed. Hey, thank you for coming tame though. We got 220 experience each. Pause on level 9. I keep it with 1. Maximum HP went up by 3. Maximum PP went up by 4. Okay, cool. 
So I'm gonna get down there somehow, which I think this is the way. Oh my gosh, all these enemies. I guess it's a good experience, but it's kind of getting annoying now. I mean, Paul is already level 9. I'll have to say, Ness and Paul are just both bash. So I was up the situation. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, you pimp him. Okay, cool. Okay, I think that was the one battle afterwards we beat the enemy that Paul didn't level up. Which isn't a bad thing, I just, I just wanted to point that out, I'm pretty sure. Okay. One more turn and this guy will be gone. I told you so. <laughs> he is gone. Okay. Cool. Like this is the this is the way we came. Yeah. Oh. Well I wanna show off something real quick then. Just so we can have our full health back and all that good stuff, even though we're not that hurt. If we go down here to um, a certain house, I think it's this house, this red house right here. Oh, it sucked us heavier first. I, we might have been listening to evil messages than rather, rather than good. Okay. So, uh, this is, um, Ota, Ota, oh hi there, oh hi ho, wait. Oh, comma, hi, ho. I think that's, um, uh, some font or something will, um, will, um, get to later in the game that we can read or something. It has something to do with the game. The bra the blue cow is that it wasn't such a, the blue cow wasn't such a great idea after all, huh? Yeah, you're a big old cow now that's, has, that's white with, um, black, sh uh, spots or something, you know? Look, let's talk to this guy who, um, told us the, Stay a while, I guess, before we... Greetings, Ness. Please forgive me for my lecture earlier. You are now welcome to stay free of charge. Oh, yeah, you charge us $50. Yeah. Would you like to stay? Yes. Excellent. Please make yourself comfortable on your on your blue sheets. No, no, I'm just kidding. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, buddy. You're pulling... You're walking a um, thin line here. You're skating on thin ice, man. I don't know the right idiom for that. Oh, well, skating on thin ice th makes sense. Skating on thin ice. Skating on thin ice. Okay, so, let's go back to that one sanctuary, because that'd be good. Oh, and by the way, I should point out that, obviously I pointed out the last part that no, the house is not blue anymore, but, uh, the, where the heck am I, okay, it's over here somewhere. The whole shop with, like, fresh eggs is, um, no longer there. Let's read the sign. Um, it says, thanks for your support over the years. The food stand is going out of business due to personal reasons. Okay. Now, I hope it doesn't have to do with me stealing fresh eggs for no, and not paying for them. <laughs> okay. So that's gone. Let's go back into this area. Sorry, my arm rested on my computer chair. It kind of was wobbly. I'm recording this at my dad's house right now. So he has a computer chair that says it's wobbly and it's not sturdy, I guess. So. Oh my gosh, am I going the right way? Am I going the right way? We're playing rough, okay. Okay, you came oh, okay, you're a little strange now. Haha. <laughs> Sucker. 220 experience. Pause is not pause in level 10. Offense went up by one. IQ went up by one. Maximum HP went up by three. Maximum PP went up by five. Nice. Okay. So Um no, I don't know where I'm going. Ah, oh, shoot. Back attack. Dismiss. Good. Good. Oh, you dodged quickly. Of course you did. Okay, we became, you became tame, so yeah. I'm trying to find a way to the next area, though. Like, I'm confused. Where do I go, man? Where do we go now? Oh, where do we go? Oh, where do we go now? Oh, where do we go? Nine, 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 nine. Of course, the Mr. Batty and another rope mall playing rough. I'm gonna take the bone pudding rough. Yeah, bash the mall playing rough. Okay, good. No, I don't wanna do that. I wanna attack the mall playing rough, man. Game tame, yay. Smash. Okay, Mr. Bowdy. Nice. Okay, good. The beat man, the Mr. Bowdy became tame, yay. Do you want JD experience? Cool. So 
So I think we go down here. Is there anything over here though? I'm kind of curious. Pretty sure there might be something. I could be wrong. Oh my gosh, I just, I purposely got into that battle. I just want to beat this guy real quick then. Oh my gosh. Come on, one more turn should do it. Oh, you attacked Paul. That's not very nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Mighty Bear. I gotta be really careful because the Mighty Bear could take out, um, you know, this, um, Mighty Bear. So let's use PSI Rockin' for Ness's turn. And then we'll use PSI, um, Freeze, I guess. Yeah, let's use Freeze. Because Thunder I might always miss, but it's a really good attack. So I'm gonna just use, um, PK Freeze. PK, not PK Freeze, PKSI Freeze. Alpha. There we go. Mighty Bear can pretend. Yay! Nice. Ball game, 300 experience, 305 experience. Should pause now, level 11. Offense went up by one, two. Uh, defense went up by one. Speed went up by two. IQ went up by one. Luck went up by one. Maximum HP went up by three. Maximum PP went up by five. Probably always the power of PSI Freeze Beta. Nice. So I think there's something over here. Mighty Bear, of course. Ah! Okay. Hopefully that butterfly was to be there when we get after this battle. Okay, let's see, um, PSI Rockin' and PSI Freeze again. Let's just use Alpha. I don't want to waste your PP, you know, I just want to use Alpha, because it should, I mean, P yeah, PSI Freeze Alpha, because I might just still faint it, you know? Maybe it can tame, yay. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Butterfly. There we go. And uh, butterflies work on um, all members of your party that you have with you when you touch the butterfly. So Paul's PP went up by 12 or 20, and then that's your back at 45, and then mine went up by 20 as well, or Ness's went up by 20. Um, let's see here. I think the boss is coming up soon. Oh my gosh, all these enemies. Hopefully, I think PS of Rock can always hit um, the, um, uh, everyone on their field, basically. We go. Didn't mean to use it on that. I meant to use it on the other bear, but okay. Just missed. Good. I just bash and then bash. Yes, it should work. That wasn't enough. Ah oh, man. Oh, let's just use rocking and not pray. Dang it. Okay, hopefully PSA Rock and takes out this mighty bear. Good. Good, that's good. 533 experience each, okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use PSI Life of Alpha. Oh, not, not Ness, but um... Well, I guess it's good for that to use on my two. Um, or Ness. Oh, dang it. PSI Alpha Paula, okay. Oh, good, her HP maxed out, that's good. No, I, I hate these mighty bats. Hopefully I get an opening attack though. Surprise attack, whatever. Let's just bash. Smash. 211 experience. Er, uh, damage. Okay, this should be it. Yep, of course. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do one more turn, I guess. There we go, you became tame. Nice. I was in the level 12, offense went up by 2, speed went up by 1, vitality went up by 2, IQ went up by 1, maximum HP went up by 16, maximum PP went up by 5. Cool. That's great. Um, I'm gonna just go now. I'm gonna see if I can just despawn them and like, they're not there anymore. Of course, there's more. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go over here then. Yay. Hopefully, this. Oh my gosh. Pick my poison. I'll pick the one more playing rough. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Oh man, I can't. I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead, you more playing rough. Okay, cool. So if we go over here, you see a present there. So I'm gonna open. I'm gonna grab this present real quick. It's a PSI Karma inside. Yes. Yes. Okay. Mighty Bear. Okay, let's just use PSI Rockin' again, Rockin' Alpha, and PSI Freeze Alpha. There 
we go. Here we go, nice. I might have been a freaking tame, okay. We gained, we both gained 35, 35 experience each, cool. And then there's the sanctuary boss. So in the next part, I'm going to cut to right here. I'm going to start that part right here. But I'm going to actually um, just go back, heal, and save off screen. So yeah, this has been my Earthbound Let's Play part. In the next part, we'll just do that. Take on the second sanctuary boss. And so this has been go again. I would like to finish again. Goodbye. And I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.